Clomid versus letrozole. Which one will actually help you get pregnant? Today, we will be discussing some very common medication used to enhance fertility, Clomid and Letrozole. In this video, we will compare Clomid and Letrozole in terms of how they work, their potential side effects, their dosages, and factors to consider when deciding which one is best for you. Let us first start by understanding Clomid. Clomid is also known as Clomiphene citrate. It is an oral prescription medication that is commonly used for treating infertility by inducing ovulation in women who have difficulty conceiving. Clomid works by binding to estrogen receptors and this tricks the brain into thinking that there is low estrogen in the body and the brain is like we need estrogen. The brain increases the production of follicle stimulating hormone, that is FSH, which sends a message to the ovaries to produce more follicles and let them grow and release a mature egg. If it is a woman who was not ovulating or has irregular cycles, these drugs helps her to ovulate. If the woman has regular cycles and is ovulating normally, clomid could make the ovaries release more than one egg resulting in twins and triplets let us look at letrozole unlike clomid which acts on the brain letrozole blocks the synthesis of estrogen hence reducing estrogen levels in the body this increases the production of fsh leading to development of follicles and the release of an egg so letrozole and clomid do the same thing that is inducing ovulation in women however i bet the question that you are asking yourself now is which one should i use clomid is the best for women with unexplained fertility that is women who have no fertility issues they have done all the tests and there is no problem they have tried conceiving during their fertile window for a period of one year but still no success clomid is also recommended for women with an irregular menstrual cycle letrozo on the other hand is best for women with polycystic ovarian syndrome that is pcos if a woman has pcos it is recommended that they use letrozole it is also recommended for women who are not responding to clomid what are the success rates of clomid and letrozole the success rate of this drug can vary from women to women studies have shown that letrozole and clomid have comparable success rates when it comes to inducing ovulation in women and achieving live births. However, the success rate of each drug depends on various factors such as the age of the patient, the overall health, and any underlying fertility issues. For women with PCOS, studies show that letrozole had more live births compared to clomid, whereas for women with unexplained infertility, clomid had more live births compared to letrozole. Studies have also shown that letrozole has a lower risk of multiple pregnancies compared to clomid, which often leads to twins, triplets, quadruplets, and so on. Like any other medication, uh, clomid and letrozole have side effects. The common side effects of clomid are multiple pregnancies. Clomid can lead to the release of more than one egg from the ovaries. And if all the eggs are fertilized, it could lead to twins, triplets, and so on. Women really love clomid because of this side effect. Who, who doesn't want to get twins? But doctors don't love this because it can come with a lot of complications some women also experience hot flashes this is a sudden feeling of warmth and it is uh, most intense on the face the neck and the chest sometimes it can lead to sweating and a rapid heartbeat another side effect is vaginal dryness some women experience changes in their cervical mucus and hence decreased lubrication in the vagina other women get mood swings 
they start getting very irritable. Some women complain of breast tenderness. Other women complain of blood vision or double vision. A very rare side effect of Clomid is ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome. That is OHSS. This occurs when it is used for a long period of time and in high dosages. Now, this makes the ovaries to over respond to the drug and to produce too many eggs. This makes the ovaries swell and become painful. The woman feels like they are bloated, they get abdominal pain, they feel like vomiting and actually they start vomiting. Let us now look at letrozole. Letrozole has similar side effects to clomid. The hot flashes, the mood swings, breast tenderness, nausea. However, women taking letrozole may also complain about additional symptoms such as joint pains and increased fatigue. As much as Clomid and letrozole have almost similar side effects. Letrozole tends to cause milder and fewer side effects compared to clomid. Letrozole has less severe hot flashes than clomid. Letrozole also has a lower risk of having multiple pregnancies compared to clomid. And therefore, letrozole is more safer and tolerable option for most women than clomid. If you are experiencing any severe side effects. It is important to share this with your doctor so that they can decide whether to discontinue the drug or lower the dosage. Clomid and letrozole are oral tablets. They are taken on day two of your menstrual cycle for five days. So essentially from day two to day six. But before choosing Clomid or Letrozole, the first thing that we want to do is understand what is causing this infertility. So therefore, the doctor has to do some baseline tests so that they can rule out other fertility issues such as endometriosis, blocked fallopian tubes, low sperm count. If you have blocked fallopian tubes and you take Clomid or Letrozole, they will make the ovaries release an egg, but still the tubes are blocked. So the sperm has no way of bypassing the barrier and fertilizing the egg. So if this is the issue that is causing your infertility, then you see Clomid or Letrozole will not help you. Now, the tests that the doctor should do include an ultrasound to look for any abnormalities or ovarian cysts. If you have an ovarian cyst, you cannot take Clomid since it will make the cysts bigger or could even lead to many more cysts. Other tests are an HSG test to look at the tubes blood hormonal assay to look at the levels of hormones such as follicle stimulating hormone, estradiol, prolactin, and thyroid stimulating hormone. After ascertaining that you have no underlying fertility issues, we can now choose between clomid and letrozole. They are not drugs that you should just walk into a pharmacy and buy. It is advisable that you take these drugs under the supervision of your doctor. The doctor should first examine you, order the baseline test that we talked about and choose the best drug for you and the best dosage. After you have taken the pills for the five days, the doctor should start doing ultrasounds until they confirm that ovulation has taken place. Therefore, regular monitoring and constant communication with your doctor is very important. So we have seen the similarities and differences of Clomid and Letrozole. And maybe you have already decided which drug you want to use. However, the choice between Clomid and Letrozole should be done in consultation with your doctor. And if you are wondering how to get pregnant with twins naturally, then I am going to leave that video over there but don't click on it just yet please subscribe if you want to keep learning more with dr raisha okay see you over there